This is part four of ISLM model series. If you are a new visitor, please visit the first three parts and then come to this lesson. Links are given in the description. Already we have derived the IS and LM curves. IS curve relates interest with income. The curve slopes downward showing inverse relation between income and interest. At 6% interest, income level is 120 rupees and at 4% income is 160 rupees. Each point on the IS curve represents three things. They are 1. A combination of income and interest. 2. Aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply or investment is equal to savings and 3. Goods market is in equilibrium. LM curve also relates interest with income but it slopes upward showing a positive relation between interest and income. When interest is low at 4% Income level is 120 rupees. When interest goes high to 6%, income is also high 160 rupees. Each point on the LM curve represents three things. They are 1. A combination of income and interest. 2. Demand for money is equal to supply of money. And 3. Money market is in equilibrium. At what level of interest and income the goods market and the money market are in equilibrium simultaneously? For this, let us present the two curves on the same graph. Examine this graph. At point E, the two curves cut each other. It means the point E is common to both the curves. It represents a combination of interest and income. It is an equilibrium point of the goods market because at this point aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply or investment is equal to savings. Okay. Point E is on the LM curve also. This is an equilibrium point of the money market because at this point Demand for money is equal to supply of money. Both the markets are in equilibrium. This is the only interest income combination which brings equilibrium in both goods and money markets. The other points on the IS curve represents equilibrium interest income combination of goods market only. Similarly, the other points on the LM curve represents equilibrium interest income combination of money market only. All other combinations that do not lie on these two curves represent interest income combination where neither market is in equilibrium. Well, it's time for us to discuss how an economy moves from disequilibrium to equilibrium. Take point A. It is neither on the IS curve nor on the LM curve. Neither of the economy is in equilibrium. A lies to the left of IS curve. In this area, aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply. So, the market tries to move horizontally to reach a point on the IS curve. White color arrow shows this. Again, it lies to the right of LM curve. In this area of LM curve, demand for money is greater than supply of money. So, the monetary forces pull the point A vertically up towards the LM curve. The blue color arrow shows this. The two forces are acting in two different directions. Depending on the relative strength of the forces, the market takes an in-between direction and reaches a point B on the IS curve. 
the goods market is in equilibrium but not the money market this point is on the right of lm curve the monetary forces pull the point up towards the lm curve the light green color arrow shows this the point moves to g both the markets are in this equilibrium it is to the right of is curve in this area aggregate supply is greater than aggregate demand so the fiscal forces pull it horizontally towards the is curve the red color arrow shows this point g is still to the right of lm curve the monetary forces keep pulling the point up yellow color arrow shows this depending upon the relative strength of the forces the market moves to the point e at last the two markets goods as well as money market are in equilibrium the movement from disequilibrium to equilibrium is shown in discrete steps but in reality it has a smooth path as shown by dotted line it is a stable equilibrium so long the variable acting on the is lm curves are unchanged that is the two curves do not change their positions any shift in the curves will affect the original equilibrium we will see the effect of shifts of these curves on equilibrium interest and income in the coming videos okay we shall meet again